I'm looking at the accordion dies and how to put a basic accordion card together. They come in a variety of styles. You've got rectangle, circle, square, and the one I'm going to make today is the oval. These will go through most of your die cutting machines, but just look at the platforms for the thin metal dies and how to put them through. Today I'm going to be using the Gemini. So in the die set, to start with in the middle here, we've got a set of nesting dies. So these fit nicely on the mat that goes in the middle of your worker die. So you've got four nesting dies, two of the scallops and two of the faux stitched in the oval set. So these are great for your matting and layering and to help decorate your card towards the end. So they're your nesting dies. And these can be used in lots of your other card making or scrapbooking or home decor. They don't necessarily have to be used just with this die. So think that you can use them in other ways as well. We've also got two decorative edges. So these are your decorative overlays. So you've got two styles. So this means you can either use them together and they do work nicely together and that's what I'm going to be doing today. Or you can use one, pass it through your machine, turn it round and pass it through your machine again. So you have several options of how you want to use them. You can also make your recording cards without using your overlays. So it gives you lots of options with this die set. And then last but not least, you've got your worker die itself. So this is your worker die. Everything is here for you. Some of the lines are not as prominent and these are going to be your score lines. And then the other lines that are more prominent, these are going to be your cut lines. But let me show you how this works. So I'm using the Gemini and I've just got myself, I've got the Gemini Junior here today by the way, I've got myself some just cream cardstock and I'm going to pop my die on there. I always like to tape my die in place just to stop it moving about so I'm just going to put one piece on there and then I put in my cloudy um, shim, my magnetic shim and then my other clear cutting plate and I'm going to pop that through my Gemini and you can see it cuts through nicely so just take the tape off there so the bits that are stuck in the die here well they're not really stuck you can see they're just falling out we're not going to need those those are your waste that you can throw away so this is the die itself so as you can see you've got your two pieces that are scored and these are going to give you your mechanism that is going to enable you to have the accordion you've got a little tab here and this is going to be the part that's going to adjoin all your ovals together on your card and then we've got a faint score line I don't know if you can see it here a faint score line here and this is the tab that's going to join one card to the next card so let me just put that score line in so you can see that and that's how your die is going to come out so let's join that together I've already cut two out and joined them together you can make your accordion card as long or as short as you like. The choice is entirely yours and that is what is great about these cards. You can do, you know, two accordion cards. You could do three layers. You can do four. You can do ten. You know, the choice is yours. These are great for putting um, names on. You know, if you put a letter on each one. Great for personalising. Children love cards like this. These cards are great for men, for ladies, any occasion at all. So I've got my other fold line here, so I'm just going to fold that one in place. Now as you can see to start with I haven't done anything with my tabs because I would recommend you decorate your card and join your tabs last of all. So I'm just going to use some tacky glue here to join this. Purely I would go with a wet glue, you can use your Crafters Companion tape pen um, that's good as well but personally I would use a wet glue because these cards 
I'm going to get a lot of um, opening and closing. And these are the sort of cards people will keep. These these aren't throwaway cards, as I call them. So just join that up nicely. And then just press that down so that glue disperses. So today I'm going to make a three accordion card. So I'm leaving that tab on and leaving that tab on. Because I'm not joining anything here, I'm going to cut that tab off and this end tab off. But what you'll notice is, as I've joined them, I've got my tabs all facing the same way and that is the key to making these projects. So I'm just going in with my scissors. So I'm going to cut this off because I'm only going to do a three accordion here today. And I'm going to just take that little tab off there. So this is what your card will look like if you're going to do three, three ovals or three accordions. It could be squares, it could be circles, anything at all you like. Now let's go in and do the overlay decoration. So I'm going to use both of my overlays for this. So I've got some Centura Pearl this time. Let me just turn my mat. So personally, I like to die cut a base first and then stick my dies on purely because if your die gets caught underneath, through the pressure of the Gemini, you could damage your dies and it's just not worth doing it. So I'm just going to take that in place and pass that through my machine. Okay, so that is my base done for my decoration. Let's take the tape off there. Not going to need those two pieces either. So this is going to give me my decorative overlay. So what I like to do is cut that first and then pop your overlay dies on top. And tape is your friend, definitely. Now you may just have to look at other die cutter machines if you're using them and look at the platforms you're going to be needing for this. I feel quite confident that the pressure of the Gemini is going to cut this absolutely fine. As you can see the dies aren't touching. If I put them in and get them to touch it's going to come over my oval here at the bottom. So just pull it back a bit so you've got that line of the oval. I'm just going to add a bit more repositionable tape to this. Repositionable tape is definitely your friend with this project. Okay, so just taping that in place so it's not going to move anywhere. And again, with that same platform. So let's just have a look at that. And you can see that that's die cut beautifully. But because we've got all that detail in there, I'm going to emboss it as well. So we've got that beautiful texture coming through on our decoration. So I'm just putting my embossing mat in place, laying that down carefully. I'm just going to take off the tape because the die is holding in place now. So I'm going to take that tape off so I can use that again. And then this time just plastic shim, not magnetic, and the clear, and put that through the machine. Okay, so that's embossed absolutely beautifully. And then when you're getting your dies out, if you lift your card or your paper and not your dies, they will release quite nicely. Can see they're actually look, just falling out they've just cut that well and then get rid of all these little bits 
So this has given us that lovely rolled embossed look on there. If I just come through with my pokey tool and get those last few out. And this is through the Centura Pearl. As I say, these will go through most of the die cutting machines on the market, as long as they're wide enough. But the measurements are all on the packaging, so that is not a problem at all. Now this is our overlay that we're going to use to decorate our card base. That's it, that's the last little piece. So let me move all this out of the way and I will show you what we are going to do next. Because this is the overlay, I'm not obviously going to use this tab. So again, I'm going to cut that away. And I find it's easier to do it after I've die cut and embossed. I'm also going to cut the centre away because I'm going to use the cream cardstock to come through. Okay, So that gives me my lovely decorative frame. However, I am going to use this to die cut a scallop out. So I'm going to go with the large and pick them up. The large scallop because that fits inside there and I'm just going to die cut that out. See, you've got that lovely scallop there ready. So let's pop that to one side. Now the nice thing about these frames, we were saying about using them as accordion cards, you know, one or two or three cards. With this decorative frame on there straight away, you could just make a lovely picture frame with a decorative oval to it. So again, thinking how you're going to use your dies in a different way. We've got our beautiful nesting dies that we can use on any project we want. Okay, so you've got those lovely nesting dies. You can use them together or on their own. You know, these are great for putting sentiments on, on cards or scrapbook layouts, anything like that at all. And again, these frames can be used for picture frames or frame cards. You know, if you've got end of year children's cards, anything like that, they're just great for that. So don't just think of these to use in the card. You could use those as frames themselves to put a picture behind. But we're going to attach them to here. I've already gone ahead and cut out another couple of panels. So I'm going to turn this around. We've got the heart one, if you look at your oval dies, you've got a heart um, shape here. And I'm going to put that at the bottom of my detail. I'm just going to cut this one off here. Very easy to do with your scissors. Just snip that away. And then you just follow the score line like we did before to tidy that up. Now there's several ways you could actually stick these to your project. You could use your Xyron machine, you could use a wet glue, but today what I'm going to use is a stick and spray. So I'm going to use my stick and spray to stick my panels on. So I've just got some scrap card here, so I can go ahead and start sticking these on. Short sharp bursts. there for a minute to get sticky or get tacky because otherwise they won't stick to my project. So that's your stick and stay. So picking one up I've got the heart at the bottom and what I find best to do is to marry up the oval itself. So if you look at where the oval is, because it's exactly the same size, and then press that into place. 
and you could go in with a brayer which is something like this if you've got one of these tools that's quite good for making sure it's all stuck down or you could just go in with your hand and put the next one on and the last one I'm going to turn it over and just give that a really good burnish with my fist so I know that's stuck down okay so move that out of the way so that's now all stuck down nice. I'm just going to give that a little... I didn't want to stick down there. The next thing you're going to do is to do your accordion. So we're going to do valleys and mountains. So just fold your card so you have your valleys and mountains. Okay, so that's your valleys and mountains. So I've got a, a mountain and a valley. The next thing you're going to do is we're going to put some tape or wet glue onto the tabs. So today I'm just going to use some red liner tape for quickness. So I'm just going to put a little bit on that tab. Cut that away. And a little bit on that one. Now I talked earlier on about decorating your card before assembling it and this is the stage where if you're going to put anything in the centre of your cards this is where I would decorate it so you've got your lovely mats and layers going on here these can go in quite nicely okay so they can go on so in fact let's just pop those on with um, have I got any tape in my tape pen my trusty tape pen that on there now when you come to decorating you can decorate these any way you like you could put use your stamps and color in with your spectrum wire you could use photographs you could use die cuts you know you can put your little sentiments there's just so many different ways of actually doing it which is great I mean I just love the faux stitching around the edge here as well and the last one if I can pick it up but don't they look lovely when you just use the two colours and join that together let's just pop that back down and get your faux stitching around the right way and popping that on there Okay, so that is the stage I would decorate your panels. Now you're ready to actually attach them. So what you're going to do is, if you've got a mountain, you're going to attach at the back. Okay, so what you're going to do is take this tape off, or the top of the tape off, if I can get it off without taking the actual tape off. That's it. And this is going to attach behind a mountain. Okay, so we go behind the mountains and on top of the valleys. So you're going to, if I take my hand out, you're going to get that look. So this one is a valley. So this time it's going to go in front. So behind the mountains and over the valleys. So bring this one forward. And you just join that in that line. Trying to press that so it sticks. There we go. So that is my three accordion done. So I've got my mountain and my valley. My ovals are behind my mountain and on top of my valley. So that is your three accordion card. If I bring in one here that I've actually decorated, this is with four layers, and this is just using some of the foils 
from Crafter's Companion on there just to decorate that and by doing that it keeps it nice and flat for posting and that's the great thing about it. and that's why I've not gone too mad with doing any decoration on the beautiful overlays because I don't think it needs it the overlays are absolutely stunning and you don't need any more on there I could put pearls on but then it wouldn't be as flat when I want to come and post it but they look great decorated you can add letters to them so you can put letters on them you can add photographs to them here's some photographs of Sarah and her sister with the boys so they're great for adding photographs on as well so they're just really versatile dies and I think it's something you're going to come back to time and time again and let me just show you this one here as well this time I haven't actually used the overlays I've used some double-sided cardstock this is um, the florals cardstock from Crafters Companion double-sided here so I haven't had to use any of the overlays and this is a nice long one this is an eight one so quite long indeed so you don't always have to use your overlays but I think you will agree with the overlay decoration they look absolutely stunning and I know you too are going to enjoy these amazing dies.